so you guys might remember way back in the fall of 2017, I did a number of fashion illustration episodes on my channel, um, a number of them being with Claudia Finelli, my good friend who lives close to me. And I want to pick up where we left off on that fashion illustration series. And there was 15 episodes, um, and you can find all of those for free lined up on awesomeartschool.com. You can also find them here on YouTube, and I made a separate fashion illustration playlist. So they're the same videos in both places. Um, so whatever is easiest for you. So what I want to do is I want to, on every Friday, well, first I want to keep doing my mixed media stuff because that I'm a really I'm a mixed media true artist and I don't want to lose the attention of those guys plus that's just like my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do so I'm gonna be posting those on Mondays all my mix so mixed media Mondays and then I'm gonna do fashion Fridays and try to post on Fridays um, the fashion geared videos so that I get to have my cake and eat it too and hopefully um, you guys are entertained or inspired or educated by either or both of those subjects. So, to pick up where we left off, and again, you can go back and see those videos wherever is convenient to you, I got this journal that I'm designating to my fashion illustrations. It's a uh, 11 by 14, I like to work big in all aspects of my art life, and fashion illustrations is no exception. And what I'm doing is, in the first episodes, I really, I mean the first one is like hilariously, ridiculously bad. And I go through trying to teach myself how to draw a croquis. And then each episode focuses on, you know, like the arms, legs, hands, hands is a disaster. I'm going to be revisiting that again in like a whole separate um, episode, if you will, and really focus on that. And again, in all of these, I am teaching myself while the camera is rolling. I'm not like proposing to be a fashion illustrator expert because I will be the first to tell you that I am not. Um, so I'm just like making sense of how to draw bodies and figures and having such a blast. And I have accrued like this ridiculous library of fashion illustration books, really so that you don't have to. If you want to like peer over my shoulder while I'm doing these videos, that will save you a butt ton of money, excuse my French, um, but it just will. <laughs> but again, if you want to, that's fine, but you might as well have me buy these all so you don't have to. I am also really, really interested in um, just like any character. This could be fashion illustration. I love like um, Alturo Lena and I love Jamie Lee Reardon and oh my gosh, there's lists I could go on and on. But I also have to say, I have three boys. There are video games rocking in my house 24 seven. And I love the visual graphics of anime, um, video game characters. And to me, there's just a really close comparison between these fashion models and some of these um, graphic digitally drawn characters. So just so you know where I'm coming from and kind of where I'm going, I started with like a disfigured, ridiculously horrible croquis and where I want to end up personally and professionally is drawing some amazing kick-ass characters um, and okay some of these are a little sexual <laughs> so just you know forgive me but some of these are amazing so looking at the clothes looking at the different stances I'll draw some weaponry I'm not too I'm not you know I'm not too shy to attempt any of these things. Plus, I like, there's so much going on in these, and I love digital art as well. Um, I just had somebody ask me, private message me, in regards to my Facebook group, you know, asking me so nicely if, if, it was, if she was allowed to post digital art in my group. And, you know, of course, I was like, it was so cute because she's so respectful, but like, honestly, Heck yes, I think digital art is just uh, a fascinating and cool and important skill as traditional art and more power to you if you have those skills. So I'm looking to digital art for inspiration. I just bought this ridiculously expensive, um, I love these art books that they sell on like the gaming, on the video games. Now this video game, as my children tell me, cause I know nothing, is played on the Nintendo 3DS. Do you know how small that screen is? That's like this big. And I'm like, you cannot appreciate the time and effort that goes into these beautifully drawn characters on a 
every freaking inch screen. So I want to draw these, bring them to life. Now again, a caveat, this is my practice. If you want to draw with me, let's do it together. But I don't want you to think that, like when you see my finished drawing, I'm not going to ever proclaim that this was my idea. I'm telling you right now, I acknowledge that this is not my idea. And I just tackle these references as a way to practice, build my muscle memory, um, and yeah, practice and build my muscle memory, really, and get so where I'm good so I can at some point then jump off and make my own characters and use it in my mixed media projects to just uh, completely take my art to the whole next level. So if you want to draw with me on Fridays, I'm going to be doing again this fashion, fashion Fridays, these fashion bents, and there's just so many cool, 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 cool things that will be influencing me. And I hope you will enjoy the ride uh, as we go through it because it's going to be fun. This book is, um, I did this last week. Oh, no, where is she? I did this one in my art journal and of course I'm bringing like a art journaling bent to these fashion drawings which I love like cross combining these disciplines. YouTube's gonna hate me because my tags are everything from like fashion illustration and to art journaling and normally they don't really go together but guess what I'm making them go together. Oh sorry I didn't even turn my phone off. So again this is practice practice. I'm practicing. I'm getting inspiration. And what this happens is like builds up these ideas and these skills in my, in my mind and in locked into my hands. And then I can like throw them up later and make all this stuff my own. But this is just practice and good Lord. I talk too much. I'm going to go get some markers and a pencil and a pen and we're going to get started. So I'm starting all of my, when I'm doing like my straight up like forward facing girls. I'm trying to, I'm just working with my like 0.3 mechanical pencil and my, this is just a, um, a fountain pen that's thin. I like, it's like super duper thin lines. And then I have like a boatload of, these are all markers that are water soluble markers. And then I love Copics as well. I don't use them together, but I usually pick one or the other. Um, and then you can, ooh, it's thundering outside, but yet it's bright and sunny, weird. Um, you can activate these with water if you want to, or just leave them alone so you kind of have a choice. So I've been using this, um, if you go back to my first lesson, and I'm saying that so, so, so very loosely, but the croquis, there's like the 10 heads method, which is if, you, if you're new to fashion illustration, you classically speaking, you, whatever the distance of the head is, you, is like your ruler for the rest of the body. I can't evidently draw and talk very well. <laughs> so the top line is zero, one, two, three, going down my paper. And my pencil is not working. Is this one working? Okay, all right, Mike. Well, anyways, I can't get my point three to work, so I'm using a point seven. All right, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the this is called the nine heads. Um method to building bodies so the head is zero to one and then like the boobs hit at two and the waist is at three and the crotch is usually at four and the knees are at six and so on and so on so the idea is to kind of memorize where those all those points hit and here's a good idea of this too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's like eight heads and then sometimes there's 12 heads is another method. Oh, just randomly open to this very helpful page. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine heads. So there's different uh, methods and there's different schools of thought on this. And of course there's like artistic license, but isn't that fun? Look at how long and skinny those legs are. So maybe I'll do one of these just to start off. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, I just did that one. So, yeah. 
and this is my book so I can write in it. So if you can see, the first the head is literally this head. Like number two boobs. I know, I know that's crass, but it's true. Three waists, like I just said. Usually the it, the crotch is right around four. And her knees on this one appear to be kind of in the middle. And then usually the ankles are right around the bottom head. So let's draw, I'm gonna draw this chick in my book right now. So I can just show you while I'm here. So we have the head. Whoops, you can't even see that. There's the head. So what I do is like, I'm gonna super loosely draw this in in pencil, and then I go over in pen, and then I color it in with my pen, with my markers for fun. She has like a super long neck. Like super duper, duper long neck. And her shoulders go here. Now there's also like width measurements and typically I forget what the shoulders are. I think the shoulder width is the same as like the neck and the head but since I can't remember I will just splay them out like this. It does show those in my other videos. Oh my god her 70s garb is hysterical. And see her neck is too long in this one and yet still her boobs magically line up at two so Sometimes you just can't overthink this stuff, you know? And you can do like circles for the arms. And then I know the waist is at three, so it comes out, boobs in. Sorry, I'm not like a, I don't like sugarcoat things. I just say boobs a lot. Okay, um, three. I'm gonna just have to raise those shoulders. See, I told you I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a super student. But I have my brand new sexy eraser that I just unopened, which is like this is super zippy. So already I'm like modifying, even though I said I'm gonna copy. I'm also learning. Whoa, what the heck is that? I'm learning and I'm learning. I'm learning on camera, which is super embarrassing, but also super funny too, because I have no shame. Okay, did you do, because I want the boobs, I know the boob, the nipples go right on that line, so I'm gonna raise that neck a little. So she can be like her sister friend next door. Zoop. So there's that. And then we'll say like that. And then this comes out, and then the waist is, comes in at three, I know that. It's hard, I really have had such a big break on this. I just wrote a book and now I'm like back in this learning saddle. When I'm not working actively, I'm learning actively. I'm like a big fat nerd and I'm not sorry about it. All right, four. So according to this, zero, one, two, three, four. So the crotch lands right above the four. And this one, she has like a super long crotch because there's four and then her crotch goes under that, so. I need to like hurry up with my crotch. Shallow crotch, if you will. This flies out again. And then the legs are fun. It's kind of like out, in, out, in. They're sort of these fun shapes. Let's see, her knee seems to hit right actually on five. And again, there's a lot to what they don't like tell you. Well, I don't really know because I'm just teaching myself this random stuff, but is that like artistic, uh, what's it called, license? Especially with these, the, the real fashion designers are hilarious. They take crazy, crazy artistic license. Now this looks like her knees are way up here, which is just doesn't, because then you see the break and then it comes down. But that's like crazy impossible. So I think I do need to drop them a little bit or else she's gonna look just absolutely redonkulous. So I'm gonna drop them. That looks pretty good to me, the six. So I'm gonna aim for this six to be the knee. And of course she has like pants on, so this is not really the best reference in the whole world. I'm gonna flare out of the calf and then in. I don't know, I just imagine there to be like a line there. And then, She's wearing these kick-ass like bell bottoms, so I will do that. So fun! Oops, 
sorry. My book is enormous, which is not good for filming. And then she's these really fun things. And this should actually like, this is bell bottom, so it actually does like this. Where's my magic new eraser? All right, and then this one again, if her knees are gonna hit at six, we're gonna go down to six. And then there's like, I usually like take a breath, like take a pause. And then these are these magnificent bell bottoms. I am like a big fan of the bell bottom. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you can't see because my book is ginormous. I have to figure out my like camera situation because it's out of control how big this book is. Okay, and then we have our little bell bottom down there. Now we gotta wick, whip out some arms that aren't crazy stupid looking. That's like my minimum requirement. Just have it don't be crazy stupid looking and then you're good. <laughs> this is why I'm not a perfectionist in any way. Can you see that? Yep. So then I go on and zoom, and then zoom. Luckily, she's got these long sleeves on, so, and they, she also appears to not have hands in this drawing. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like in her pocket. I'm just gonna draw it just like I see it. So it's like that. And her shirt is down like this. So you actually don't even see her waist. It's like this. And then this one, her arm goes on for pretty much eternity. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. The bottom of her hand ends here. What is with my mechanical pencils? I swear to God. Come on, come out and play. Ugh. I'm just about done with them anyways. And here's like her sleeve. And then I'm just doing that with her hands because hands are the root of all evil and we will deal with them later. And by later, I mean later. <laughs> all right, so this is this like horrible drawing sketch. But then what I like to do, oh my, I'm not sure I like this eraser actually. There we go. Erase the boobs. Sorry boobs. This is a very like flavorless shirt. And she has these sad, sad, droopy like shoulders. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then, oh and her, sorry, just keep interrupting myself. I can't talk and draw, it's so hard. So what I'm gonna do is try to make her look like jazzy and not stupid. My goal is to make my drawings not look stupid. All right, so just erasing. Oh, this actually goes like this. I love her glasses. They're so cute, and her neck is like way too thin. Right in her head, she has this marvelous, like '70s bangs thing rocking, which I love. And this is gonna go down here. Just lowering her hairline. Oh, it's weird how it drags that eraser stuff up. And then this, and then this like flares out. Oh, I missed the 70s. I was only, you know, four when I left them behind, but seriously, bring that. She nizzled back. It was fun times. Even at four, <laughs> it was fun. She's got these fun hipster glasses on. And let's see, there's a nose. She's looking pretty sophisticated. With this droopy eyes and a nose. I'm terrible at details, so details are like a super stretch for me. But this is good. Being and learning outside of your comfort zone. Look at how it like leaves ooh, behind this little evil mark. Yeah, I don't know how if I like that this eraser or not. Let's see if I'm not lazy and I just erase. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I don't think I'm 
a big fan of that eraser. And her shirt has like no shape, so I might give it a little shape. It's making her look very boxy. All right, so now what I'm usually do is I like just doodle over it with my pen a little bit. And like shore up, like her face is super thin, which. And this is where I have a lot of fun because I get to kind of doodle. Just doodle. Just a big doodler fan. I think I love fashion illustration because I love, you know what, I love all art. I love to draw and I love to paint. So it's really fun trying your hand at different styles and different disciplines and different mediums and it's so fun. So I hope that you guys will be brave if you're my mixed media people and like come draw some fashion girls with me. It's like, why not? Learn something new. And guess what? If you don't want to, that's totally fine too. Obviously do what you want. So I'm just like going over. I love this pen. <laughs> And the like scratchy scratch, it makes like a very satisfying little scratchy sound when you're working with it. I think that's honestly why I like it. Now this is not watercolor paper, it's mixed media paper. And I normally hate mixed media paper. And I only work on watercolor paper. Typically because it's just so, like watercolor paper is can, is like canvas. I mean, you can you can give it a beating and it will come back for more. And this is mixed media paper, which I normally don't like or get, but it is a little bit smoother and less porous. And I was like, mm, if I am doing a lot of dry media, if I feel like it's a waste of money to get the high quality uh, watercolor paper it's very expensive and it's awesome and that's why I normally only use that but yeah for dry media it's 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 kind of a waste of money all right she's looking she's looking okay she has her like sassy friend here I don't I still don't really know what the hell is happening with her clothes but <laughs> it's it's a start she has outlines and and now we I'm just gonna add color for fun so she's wearing this turtleneck that goes up to her chin. And so usually I start with the skin. There is scant amount of skin on this woman. All right, so usually I use my Tombos for the skin. And I will just give her like, this is like a gray. Oh, that's, oops, see, that's not even her skin. That's just her face. Oh, shoot. Whoopsies. This is going to be her turtleneck. She needs to be another color. So, oops, jeez. I'm not doing so good right now. So, omitting the sides of her face. Give her some shadow. And she looks like a crazy person. And this, my friends, is a why we practice. Because, <laughs> so we don't always have to laugh at our own work. We can actually be proud of it. That's my goal, is to stop laughing and be proud. Now, she is like 70s. Oh, she's got all these. All right, now in her this original black and white digital picture, she's wearing this like amazing, <laughs> I don't even know what that is, patterned. Hmm, I guess we could do something crazy like that. Or I could be like quick and dirty and just do this in solid colors. I'm not really sure. I can't even see what the heck is happening on her shirt here because her hair is supposed to be going long and like covering this. Um, let's see, do I draw those crazy shapes? I don't think I want to, I'm too lazy for that. But I feel like it does need to be, how about some greens? 70s is like greens and oranges. 
Maybe we can do like two shades. I don't know. I don't know you guys. Ah! Alright, we'll do the. Is this the. Oh. This is like the light green. And then maybe like a different green. And her awkward. 70s Garby outfit. Equaline. So like all of these, all of these markers are kind of interchangeable. I think. The Tombos and the Winsor Newton and the Equalines are all water soluble brushes. Oh, look at this. She's like hanging out next to her neon sister next to her. She doesn't know what's going on. Maybe she should have like, oh, now see, I'm just copying the colors of the chick next to her, so. Maybe she has like purple pants on. Ah! Fast and furious. Fast and furious. So fun. All right, I, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I colored it in like that. I just felt like it. Let's see if this is another this is kind of similar color. It's a little darker. So just like. Run it on the inside. Try and imagine there be like Shadows be darker right on the inside. And then, I mean, this is just pure fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this up as I go. You can take a water brush. This is a really, really tiny one. And if you want to, you can like activate this, which just means get it wet and move it around if you want. Or you can not. It looks like a hair. Gross. And yeah. This outfit is hideous. Make no mistake. <laughs> I am well aware of the hideousness. Maybe she has like super blonde hair. All right, and then we're just dry with my hair dryer. And then she's so, her outfit is so, so ugly. So let's make it like, I don't know, maybe this is like a knit. Hilarious. And then this is this other thing that I've been doing because this is so embarrassing. And yet, and yet, I'm having like, when I make these, fashion doodle people. I am having kind of the best time and I'm so glad to be back and doing it with other people because it's so fun. But then you can like keep doodling on top. Like kind of the whole time I'm doing this, I'm kind of like secretly so embarrassed and like hating her. And at the same time, I'm kind of like, well, who cares? Like this is fun. This is like way more fun than grocery shopping, which is what I'm supposed to be doing at all times as a mom. And you can like scribble on her. Oh, you can't even see because I'm zoomed out so much, sorry. And you can make the fun little scribbles. And like I'm sitting here now, this is like where my therapy comes in. I'll be like, ugh. What else do I have to do? What's going on this weekend? Who do I have to pick up and drive to where? And this is when I get my little drawing fix. You can just scribble doodle all over her. Scribble art. Oops, and these impossibly long legs that you can't see, so sorry. 
I don't know, there's always like a, a break in the knee somewhere. Maybe these boots are black. And her hand is the only thing not colored. And, and then she, this is my latest thing what I do is to make fun of my bad art is that she'll be like, are you messing with me? I make them talk because it's so embarrassing and you might as well have them just like be doing something so like they can talk to each other. Oh, there's a big blob of ink next to me. So she's clearly sad and pissed that I made her in the ugliest, like honestly the ugliest outfit ever made every, anywhere and look how mad she is. I mean, she's clearly pissed right she's like squinting her eyes and she's like and this chick's like are you messing with me and she's like dude nope nope just pissed about my ugly ass clothes Dot, dot, dot. All right, so she's like, girl, calm down. All right, so I figure by the time this whole book is filled, it's gonna be like a comic strip of like crazy bitches. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But then, so that was fun, right? All right, so every week I'm gonna add on to this and I might do some that are just time-lapse and fun, but like she's a friend, like that was cool. And I went to review my like croquis numbering system and I'm gonna switch up my books from week to week, switch up the stances from week to week, um, probably do some mixed media in there too. But um, I like adding on to my book. It's like seriously fun. Um, so I hope you have want to draw along with me if also you have any ideas for future videos or like you really want to see one in profile like I can't guarantee you that I can actually make anything happen but I'm definitely open to your ideas and suggestions so if you want to write any of those in the comment section or like you know just yeah ideas or books you want me to look into or methods or mediums or what have you I'm totally all ears so pop them in the comments section for me if you want to keep drawing with me every week um, then I would just recommend subscribing so that you don't miss any videos and if you like this you can give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and um, yeah thank you guys for being here and I will see you on Monday with the next uh, newest mixed media project thanks guys bye